they weren't fucking around. They really meant like a couple seconds. But I definitely need to practice with that a little bit more. <sighs> Lots of freckles today. Before we get started with this video that has to do with makeup, <laughs> thought I'd show you the inside of my house in case you didn't know that I have been, I've been doing all sorts of weird things with my hands down here. Like, what do I do with my hands? I am, shit, that's the DMV calling me, hang on. Festive much? Okay, that was less painful than I expected it to be. Um, my license plate, I had ordered a replacement license plate for my truck and it is taking forever. Anyways, I am vlogging the remodel of our kitchen house. So I kind of just wanted to show you what it looks like right now. And in the first remodel video that I have up, you can see what it looked like before. <laughs> um, so check it out. Oh my goodness. This is a hot mess. However, this is gonna be a really, really cool round window. All right, back to the video. Oh, well now the remote decides to work once I dig through everything in my office and can't find the freaking battery. <laughs> hey guys. <coughs> oh my gosh. Hang on. <coughs> Nick put this sticker on my water bottle. Dude, it's already one and I'm only, I haven't even finished one of these yet. I have a bunch of new makeup on my table right now. Don't know what we're gonna use. I know one thing we're not gonna use though. I'm not gonna name names because everyone makes mistakes and so whatever. But I just opened this palette to possibly use for this video and it has a hair in it. It's like a fuzz from, it's not someone's hair. And then there are two giant finger prints in these two. And there are actually fingerprints in almost all of these, if not all of them, but those are the most obvious. <laughs> oh my gosh, I opened this and I was just like, oh. I'm not usually one that worries about like, germs and stuff. I have an amazing immune system and I think it's because I've never been someone who's like a germaphobe, but that's just, you know, not, that's going on my eyes. Like <laughs> that's, that's something else. So we're gonna use new makeup today. This is all stuff that I have not ever used, touched, put on my face before. So um, I'll just fill in if there's something that I don't have that's brand new, I'll let you guys know, but you guys voted on Instagram, I asked if you wanted to see a video with the new um, Anastasia Beverly Hills liners and do a full colorful look or just a face with just new stuff. And it was 48% voted for colorful Norvina Anastasia and then 52% voted for face with just new stuff. So y'all barely won, but I see a colorful look in the future anyway. So. With that being said, let's jump right into this. All of this was given to me in PR packages and thank you so much to the brands that sent this stuff to me um, with this remodel. I have no extra money to buy anything for myself. So thank you, thank you. I got sent a bunch of stuff from this brand called Jason Wu. And so you're gonna see quite a bit of stuff in here from that brand. I've never heard of, I had never heard of the brand before they reached out to me. I love the packaging. I love the whole look and feel of it. They got a lot of interesting items too. Like they've got a freckle pen. They've got this stuff, which I'm about to put on. This is bedtime story. Um, it's basically a lip mask and it comes in this big package. My lips are very chapped right now, probably because I'm not drinking enough water. So I know this is for the nighttime and this is about to go by my bedside table. Ooh, it like kind of just like melts when you stick your finger in it. Uh, I'm just gonna put some of this on right now because my lips are very chapped. <clears throat> These earrings um, were talked about in a recent YouTube video where I did like an Amazon jewelry haul. So I'll link you guys to that if you wanna see it. Oh, Siri, I'm not talking to you. What the heck? One thing that I also got from Jason Wu that I'd like to put on is, so I, oh, I saw these and I was like, okay, so eye primer. I don't really use eye primers, but the difference in these that you don't see on the front of this packaging until you read the back is that it is a full coverage, ultra creamy eyeshadow base infused with vitamin E and 
B, guaranteed to make your shadows more intense and last longer with no cracking. So I'm immediately like interested in this because typically all the eye primers that I've ever used go on over concealer and I just avoid them in general because they always end up removing my concealer and the whole point of concealer is to have that coverage. So I have always just left my concealer unpowdered and then put makeup on top. But today we're gonna try this. I've never seen a product like this. So I really need to get a trash can in here. So this is what it looks like, this little guy. And there are different shades. Um, which one is this? This one is medium. And I'm curious to see, okay. So I was wondering if it was gonna be a brush or this. So it's like a little one of these. I am going to get a brush and dis dispense, dispense, dispense. <laughs> um, oh, there you are, hello. So it kind of looks like concealer. Let's put it on and see. I'm planning on, oh yeah, it's like concealer. I'm planning on using a pretty colorful palette today that I was excited to receive in the mail. So, so this is smoothing on just like concealer. This is fun. It's been a long time since I've used like a product that like I have never used before, you know? So that's pretty cool. I love that they like mixed um, a primer and a concealer in one. Like that is genius. I'm loving it so far. I didn't take a look at the range of colors, but I'm gonna guess based on like their packaging and like their inserts that it's just a very inclusive brand that would have a lot of different um, shades for different skin tones. So I'm curious if I'm supposed to powder over this or not. Let's not and see what happens because I'm interested to see. I'm gonna put this right here on my desk because I feel like I'm gonna be using this a lot. The palette that I'd like to use today is the Urban Decay Cyber Palette. Look at this, just look at her. Oh my goodness, this is so freaking pretty. Okay, so this is what the palette looks like. I am loving that it's mostly a cool toned palette and then they threw, oh, other side. <laughs> the monitor is mirrored. Um, they just threw this like warm color in here in this one. So I'm gravitating towards these ones. I'm thinking about doing more of these for like winter as it gets like a little more frosty, but oh, it's on this side again. <laughs> I'm thinking about doing this guy on the lid and then this one um, in the crease and blending it upwards out into maybe this one because this is another matte one. Gosh, these are so pretty too. I don't know if you can see but this one, it just has these like super pretty specks in it. And this one too, like these are just really, really, really pretty. Let's actually swatch some of these. This is, let's see, Electrode. Oh, it's so pretty. Let me wipe my finger off. This one is this beautiful silver color called Stag. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with that. Okay, I also wanna see Cyberspace. That one's really pretty. That's that like, oh my gosh, it's like a, it's like a corally brown, like pastel-y color with like flecks of like teal blue. Okay, trying to get this today centered in my um, monitor is like obnoxious. Oh. These are so, I can't twist my arm enough for you to see the like blue in that one. Let's look at Override too. This one is the one I was thinking of doing on my lid along with B-Y-T-E. Okay, so this one is called Override. Oh, that's so freaking pretty. Yeah, we're doing that one. <laughs> we're doing that one. I also wanna show you Y3K, which is like, it's like a, it's like, well, these are, have what, been one of my favorites always, but it's like a brown and a blue at the same time. This one, you can, I think the camera's picking this one up. This is Y3K. This is super pretty. Let's, where can we put this? I'll put it right here. Oh, that is really, 
Oh my gosh. Do I do that one or the other one? I'm gonna mix both of them together on my eyelid. Okay, so this has creased a tiny bit. I'm just going to kind of reset this. Oh, let's do bite too. This is that really pretty like orange color. I'm just curious. It may swatch kind of chalky. Let's take a look. Actually swatched um, pretty dang good for like a red orange. Impressive. Actually have to say that I haven't seen a palette from Urban Decay that I've been super excited about for a while. And I don't know why that is. Maybe it was just some of the shades were just all too light or like just look similar to other ones. I'm not really sure what it was, but okay. I'm going to go in with, um, override and put that all over my eyelid. Oh, it's so pretty. I just washed all my new brushes the other day and they're in the laundry room. So I'm going to go grab them. Cause you know that, <laughs> you know that from the beginning of this video that I literally don't have a kitchen right now. So my laundry room is my kitchen. Uh, well it's at least my kitchen sink. When I was washing them, I dumped the thing that I was putting them in over and they all fell behind the washing machine. And if you have a house that's old, like this one is like behind the washing machine is like a no go. Like, you know, like it's dirty back there, like lint. So I had to shimmy out the entire washer to get all these brushes. And then I had to wash them all over again. Genius. They're all still wet. Shit apply some of this with a flat brush. Wow. It is like a burnt orange, like brick color. It's so pretty. Blend this out a little bit and then do another layer. Zoom you guys in a little bit so you could see a little bit better. That blended out super well. So I'm gonna grab a little bit more of Y3K. Hi Leo, hi little monkey. And um, just spray it with a little bit of setting powder to, oop, that, that was faced the wrong direction. What the hell is going, what the freaking frick? Yeah. Just to get it, like get the most payoff. My lighting in here is not ideal. <laughs> like I'm missing a stand. I said this in one of my recent videos, but I'm like missing a stand. So like my lighting's a little bit different than normal and I can't tell if this is even or not, but it'll do for now. We get the picture. This blended out really nicely. I'm really liking the eyeshadow base slash concealer. I love that concept. I think it's freaking awesome. Never seen that before, like I said. Using this eyeshadow palette, I've used three colors so far. Really liking that. I think I'm probably going to use one of these on, I think I'm gonna use that one on my brow bone maybe and a little bit on the inside. This one is um, called Call It. There's also a brush in this palette. I typically don't ever use the palette brushes, but let's, um, let's try it out. This one's really cute. Let's put a little bit of it right there. Oh, that's pretty. It adds like a little pinkish kind of orangey element to it. I think that's going to be not the right color for my brow bone. So I'm going to use metadata for my brow bone, which is like kind of like the champagne-y kind of highlight shade. I'm also going to mix call it in there because I feel like I was thinking it would be too dark for the brow bone, but I actually really like that. Let's use another item from Jason Wu. This intrigued me because I've never seen a, um, a matte oil primer. So I'm shaking this up because it's a little bit cloudy. This is what it is. It is a matte oil primer. Let's read a little bit about this. This magical oil trans transforms your face from oily to matte instantly. Experience the magical transformation for yourself. Can be worn alone or as a makeup primer. Dab just a few drops on with fingertips 
on your face, allow primer to set before applying makeup can also be used over your makeup to refresh your look. I would be terrified to put any sort of liquid like this over makeup, but maybe we'll have to try it someday. Okay, so I'm putting a few drops. One, two, three. It doesn't, it kind of feels oily, but like doesn't at the same time, it looks oily on my skin right now though. How does an oil make your skin matte? I'm so confused. Oh, that's making it real freaking shiny. I always think it's so weird to see like a full on eyeshadow look on your eyes without any foundation, like my skin tone is not even. Say hi, say hi. I missed my grooming appointment, so I'm a little fluffy. That's a little fluffy. Say hi. Is your breath so stinky? Is it stinky? Where are you going? You want to just lay on my boobs as usual right there? Yeah. Oh, that's a stinky boy. Okay, so I'm going to let that settle in for a minute and let's talk about the next product we're going to use. What is it? I kind of want to use one of the Lawless foundations. Um, I just don't know what color I am right now because the ones that I got before were just a little too pale, but I'm kind of pale right now. Like that looks like it should work. I'm gonna try this one. I've used this once before in a video, but the color didn't match. So I would like to use it again. Um, let's, so this is the Lawless Conceal the Deal. And this is just a long wearing, lightweight, fluid foundation that's new. Um, delivers modern full coverage with a blendable and buildable foundation. Feels like a serum and fuses with the skin to even skin tone, blur pores, smooth texture, and cover imperfections. Like that is like anything anyone could ever want in a foundation. Am I right or am I right? So let's try this. I'm gonna mix two of these together. I'm gonna mix um, Fawn, which is a little more of a yellow pale, and then Champagne, which is a little more of a pink pale. And I'm like somewhere in between. So I'm just gonna mix these two together and see what happens. If I remember correctly, last time I used these, I didn't think they were gonna cover how I would have wanted them to. And then as it like dried, it got like more full coverage, if that even makes sense. Like it was kind of weird. I was like, uh, when I was applying it, I was like, I think this is gonna be really like oily and not cover enough, but it ended up like looking totally different when it dried down, which was kind of crazy. So let's see how we do here. This is a Morphe M439 brush, by the way. I've been loving this for applying foundation. I haven't applied foundation with a beauty blender in a very, very long time. Try using this as a concealer too today and see how that works out for me. Lately, concealer has just been feeling like pretty thick under my eyes and this is definitely very lightweight and nice feeling. So let's see how this goes. This is a brand that we're gonna use next before we powder. It's called Tower 28. You guys told me about this on Instagram. I had actually never heard of this brand before. There are so many new cool, cool like brands that are out that I just, I feel like I'm so behind the times. But this is um, Bleach Please, how funny. Oh, Beach Please. I was like, that's the name of the Arctic Fox bleach I created. Um, Beach Please Magic Hour, and it is a buildable, luminous color for cheeks, lips, tap and blend. We're gonna see if this removes your makeup because this is pretty like, it almost looks like lip gloss. So I'm a little worried it's gonna take my makeup off, but let's see. I'm tapping like as lightly as possible. This is really, it looks really pretty. It's blending out like really nicely. It seems to almost get matte as you put it on. That looks really pretty. That is really, really, really pretty. I put a little tiny bit on my nose too, maybe a little bit more. I really like this shade too. Um, Magic Hour is the shade. This is the Jason Wu Ready Set Matte Powder. Comes in this packaging. Let's open this top and see what we have in here. Okay, it comes with like a little 
a little poofy and then the product comes through those. It's got vitamin C and rose hip oil in it. How the hell do you put oil in a powder? These products are like just blowing my mind today. That really matted that down. You can see the difference between this side. My hair, let me do the entire face. You can really see a difference between this side and this side. The shine is like pretty substantial. Okay, we are freaking matte, like almost like too matte, but <laughs> we have highlighter for that. Next, I've got some bronzer. This is the Lawless Summer Skin uh, Velvet Matte Bronzer in Golden Hour. This looks to be a little dark for me, but let's, let's try it out. Because I'm so pale right now, I don't wanna go ham with this. I'm just gonna kinda of put a little bit on that, like applied pretty nicely. This foundation's looking really nice. Like, yeah, it has smoothed out my pores, my texture, all that stuff. Um, it accepted the powder really well. The powder looks great. I'm excited to get some like highlight on my cheeks because this pimple right here is finally going away. If you guys remember my last, uh, not my last video, but I did the uh, reviewing the Hocus Pocus ColourPop collection and this freaking pimple was just like, you could see that shit from outer space. Like I put highlight on, I was like, eh, whatever. We're just gonna do it anyway. And it was, it was loud and proud and it was, it was, it was out there. This next product is also from Jason Wu. And if you remember, and you're an OG of my channel, I used to talk shit about fake freckles all the time just because they, I didn't really like them. I was just like, eh, these look really silly. Like, I, I don't, I'm not a huge fan. Like you can very, you can tell that they're so fake. Like people would just go a little overboard, just like people go overboard with the fluffy brow thing. I think it was kind of the same thing for me. Like some people just take it to another level. Like they should have stopped here maybe, or like there's no should with makeup, you know what I mean? But like everyone has their own opinions. Like in my opinion, like they could have stopped here and it would have looked like fantastic. But then they just like went like the extra mile with it and it was just too much for me. Ugh. Anyways, this is the Faux Freckle um, product, stick. I don't know what to call this. It's called Jason the Freckled Boy Faux Freckle. And I think that these come in different colors. This is what the little packaging looks like. I really like that wand, like how it's clear. I don't know how to use this, so let's take a look. I don't know if this goes over makeup or not. Apply a single dot or in clusters of dots. Wait a few seconds. Leave on longer for a bolder look. And then tap out the product with your fingertip to soften and blend dots. Okay. I'm terrified. Okay, I'm terrified. <laughs> Let's start with this little beauty mark that I always turn into a darker uh, freckle. Okay, so, oh boy. You know what? We're just gonna go for it. We're just gonna grip it and rip it, y'all. Oh my gosh, I can't get the shape of that one right. Oh my gosh, I'm getting nervous. How long am I supposed to leave this? Wait a few seconds. Oh shit, seconds. Ah! Okay, oh my gosh, this is so terrifying. So call me Pippi Longstockings. <laughs> um, I think I waited too long to like, maybe you do like two and then you, you know what I mean? So that's a lot. Um, I'm gonna try and put some foundation over these. That um, takes some practice. Okay, loving the product. I just don't know how to use it. So that's why I look like Pippi Longstockings. Let's try it again. I'm just gonna do like 
Okay, a few seconds, okay? That's been a couple seconds, there we go. Okay, that is how you're supposed to do it. This is out of control. One, two. Okay, yeah. They weren't fucking around. They really meant like a couple seconds. One, two. Damn, I wish I would have practiced this, practiced this like before I put like 27 across my face and let it dry in, okay? <laughs> no regrets, moving on. This product's cool. I really like how when you tap it, like I wish it would have mentioned or maybe I should have noticed or figured it out, but when you tap, it picks it up on your finger and then you tap somewhere else. So you don't wanna wipe. If you just tap, it like gives you another freckle. So if you do two dots, you've got four freckles. Does that make sense? But I definitely need to practice with that a little bit more. <sighs> Lots of freckles today. This brand is, if you are a fan of Urban Decay and Wendy, Wendy is the founder of Urban Decay, then you may or may not have heard of her brand new brand called Cali Ray. This is um, the packaging of one of the eyeliners we're gonna use just to kind of give you a sense of the vibe. It's like California surfer girl makeup line. I've been really loving their Instagram. I was invited to, uh, listen to Wendy speak about Callie Ray. And unfortunately I was busy filming the podcast, so I couldn't, but this is surf proof, easy glider eye definer. So this is waterproof, which makes me a little concerned to put it on because I hate tugging at my skin at the end of the night when it comes to waterproof makeup. I need to get some waterproof like makeup remover, but this um, is in secret spot. Okay, that's gonna be upside down for you guys. So it looks like this, it is just a, you know, kind of a basic liner. I got two, I got three colors. I got the deep, which is a navy, and then I got um, night driving, and then this one. So I'm gonna do this one in my waterline. It already looks like I like, kind of blended it out. Like that was pretty cool. That was awesome. Like, look at that. It like already looks like I like blended it out. A lot of times when you apply eyeliner, as you guys know, it just kind of sticks right where you put it and you kind of have to, especially when it's like long wear, long lasting, like waterproof, like it doesn't really like, it's smudge proof, but this actually just went on super, super nicely. Ooh, <laughs> I just found this highlighter in my little, thing right in front of me, my plastic organizer. So we're gonna use this. This is the Jaclyn Hill Mesmerized Highlighter. I don't know how new this one is, but because it has like an orangish kind of hue to it, I think this will look really good with what we have going on up here. So I'm gonna apply this. And I did the freckles first because I wanted other makeup to sit on top of it. I probably actually should have done it before my blush now that I've kind of seen how it works, but I just wanted other product to sit on top of it so they looked a little more natural. I mean, I think the natural look is lost on me today because I just went freaking ham with it, but um, you know, you live and you learn. I'm gonna use the Cali Ray Come Hell or High Water Clean Mascara. It says zero smudge, volumizing and curling. Now I was a little concerned that this was gonna be waterproof um, following the theme of the other items and the brand in general, but it doesn't say anything about waterproof. So, ooh, the packaging is matching my background so well. <laughs> Let's check out the wand. Okay. Pretty skinny. Usually I like a little bit more girth, but let's see how we do. This is like black, black. Um, let's put this on. I am gonna be wearing lashes today, so I'm not super concerned, honestly, right now with how much length I get, but we'll be able to tell um, how, how we're doing here. Usually with mascara, I put on tons and tons of layers. And I actually have been loving for a very long time, you guys probably know this, but my cheap NYX mascara, it's been awesome. One great thing about how skinny this is, is you're able to get in here without dropping mascara, like on your inner, um, the inner corner area of your eye, which is nice, because when the wand is nice and thick, it tends to kind of get in there. 
Mascara for me is one of those things that I don't really feel like you need to go high end because like I said, I've tried ma a lot of mascara and I would say my favorites so far have been pretty inexpensive, like affordable brands. So I haven't ever really found myself needing to go for anything super high end. And I don't really use any of the, you know, Dior brands or anything like that. Cause a lot of those test on animals. Um, but based on like, you know, all the Too Faced, all that, all those kinds of brands, like I always am reaching just for my NYX. So for lips, I'm using um, a lipstick that is brand new, but before that, I'm gonna line my lips and overline with the NYX Slide On Glide On Stay On and definitely a turn on lip liner in Nude Suede Shoes. It's been one of my favorites for a really long time. And the lipstick I'm about to put on is super light. It might be too light, we'll see. How weird is it that I still don't have any eyebrows? I will disappear in a few minutes and put the lashes and eyebrows on. My lips are feeling good after the Jason Wu stuff that we had on there. Still a bit dry, but... Okay, so this is the Lawless Lipstick in Platinum. And where's the box for this? This is a classic cream lipstick. Here is the shade. So it's pretty pale. This is like a really, really like light nude. So this, is gonna, this might be too light. We might have to change it, but let's see. I think it works as long as the lip liner can blend into it. <laughs> That's really, really light. That might be, it's like almost too freaking light. Let's see. We're gonna try. I'm gonna try and fill in a little bit more darkness here. For lashes, I'm gonna be using the Ardell 3D Faux Mink Lashes. This is what they look like. These are super pretty. Here's the lashes, the brows, and I did say we were gonna use something for the brows, but when I opened it, I realized that it wasn't what I thought it was. So I'll show it to you guys anyway. This is the Jason Wu Wu Brow Everlasting Love. And this I was sent in two different colors. This is the lighter one of the two. I don't know if there's actually a shade on this. I'm not seeing it. But I thought this was a brow gel that you just painted on over your brows to like give your brow hairs a little bit more um, volume, a little bit more fluff, you know. But this says it's a beach proof, hot yoga proof, waterproof eyebrow gel that will give you everlasting love for your non-existing brows. So I was like, perfect, let me see. So I opened it and it is a brush like this and you paint this onto your eyebrows and I'm still, okay, this eyelash is sticking to my lower lash. Um, I'm still a little confused on this one. Like it says to go easy in the front of your eyebrows. So it says to paint it on your eyebrows and then apply to clean dry brows using the applicator. Carefully create the shape you desire. So you just like kind of glob it on and then do you remove it after or you just like leave it? So I'm interested to try this when I have no makeup on to see like what it does to my eyebrows, but I'm gonna have to watch a video I think because this almost just looks like that brush would just apply way too much product. I, d I don't know, we're gonna have to try this later. But anyways, um, oh my gosh, the glue is like sticking to my lower lash when I blink and it's gonna drive me crazy. Overall, I really liked everything that I used today. Some things I didn't use properly, <laughs> like the freckle thing, but overall, I loved the eyeshadow palette. I'm still loving the foundation. I loved the powder that I used, really loved that blush. Uh, a lot of the Jason Wu products were really interesting to me, like this shadow primer that was also like a concealer. Like this was probably one of my favorite things that I used today. Loving the lip uh, mask, the overnight lip mask. The Cali Ray liner, love it. Um, the mascara was probably my least exciting uh, Thing that I used today, it worked well. Um, but I mean, it wasn't anything like crazy. Like there's just a lot of great mascaras out there. Love this lip color. Wish I could get it in a couple shades darker as well. Cause I think you need some darker shades on the outside, but 
overall, um, absolutely love everything. These lashes are like, I have been so obsessed with, obsessed with Ardell lashes for like my entire life. I almost don't use any other lashes than Ardell. So love those. Um, had a good experience trying all of these new brands that I tried today and the new products I used today. So I'm curious what you guys think. Have you used any of these items? Have you heard of Jason Wu before? Have you heard of some of these other brands? Have you used Cali Ray? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to chit chat about you know, the look in some of the products and hopefully you can uh, learn from my mistakes and use the freckle maker a little bit uh, better than I did today. So thank you so much guys. We will see you in the next video.